Hello everyone, Rumred here. Welcome to Ether.io. Now this is, you know, your standard would you rather game. Uh seen some other people play it. Uh figured it might be uh might be fun to give it a chance. So, uh I'm pretty sure most everyone knows what this is about, but in case not, you're presented with two choices and you need to pick, you know, which one you would rather deal with. So let's get started. Oh, excuse me there. Not be able to taste or not be able to smell. Well, to me, this is easy. I mean, yeah, sometimes you're like, well, you know, your sense of smell, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I don't, you know, it's nice to smell something, you know, like a good steak or a good perfume or something. But, you know, a lot of times it can harm you like, oh, God, it's stinks. You know, you can deal with stuff a little easier. But it's also a defense mechanism, you know. If I'm sitting here and I smell gas or, you know, something, I'm going to, it's going to alert me. Uh, so you'd be losing um, a defense mechanism. But not being able to taste, I think, would just be horrible. So I'm going to go with not be able to smell and just hope that there's never a point where, oh, if he'd only smelled it, he would have survived. Let's see here. Spend a year alone in a deep sea submarine. Spend a year alone in a space station. Now, both of these, I mean, if you're in a deep sea submarine, the pressure, if something goes wrong, you're dead. In a space station, if something goes wrong in the vacuum of space, you're dead. So, if something goes wrong, you're equally dead. Um, people, I, I don't know that anyone's ever spent alone or not in a deep sea a deep sea submarine we're not talking like a naval submarine we're talking like your deep sea little going down to the titanic and marianas trench type deals for a year uh, they have uh in space stations not alone i don't believe i think the record for being alone would probably have been on the old mir russian mir space station maybe i don't think it was a year but uh i could i could probably deal with the space station a lot easier and less risk of dying. Work at McDonald's or work at Burger King? Uh, you're going to work fast food either way. Uh, I guess the only benefit uh, it would be you get to take some of the food home, and I like Burger King burgers, so we'll go with, we'll go with that. A lot of people disagree with me, apparently. Never be able to remember anyone's birthday or anniversary. Forget every historical date from the past and why it was important. Well, I'm going to go with never remember anyone's birthday or anniversary because I already don't. I mean, I, I, to this day, I'm sitting there going, oh, I think my mom's birthday somewhere around here. I better ask and just hope it's not already come and gone. Uh, I wouldn't want to forget historical dates and why they were important. I kind of... I kind of, you know, have a little history uh, fetish at times, so, uh, yeah, that, that'd be that'd be pretty horrible for me. <laughs> find a book about everything about the past. Ooh, find a book about everything about the future. Well, here's, here's the deal. If it's a book about everything in the future, if anyone's ever seen uh, Back to the Future Part 2, well, that should include sporting events, right? And it would uh, <clears throat> let you... You know, you could use that to your advantage. You know, stocks, all that. You could make a ton of money. Uh, the downside is, you know, would it tell you how you're going to die? And there's nothing, and you'll kind of be sitting there going, okay, I'm going to die this date by this. You know, is that fate? Is it something you could change? You know, knowing the day, if it's about everything, you'd know when your friends and family are going to die, when horrible events are going to happen. And you wouldn't really be able to change them because on a large scale, Vince, they just think you're a, a, a raving madman. And on a small scale, I mean, is you trying to stop it? What's going to cause it? You know, that, that, that whole conundrum. Uh, but a book for the past would be cool because, you know, unanswered questions, you know. You know, is everything, do we know everything about the JFK assassination? Do we know... You know, all this other stuff. Oh, man. This is a tough one. I would uh, I would, I would, would take the, the knowing everything from the future just because you could use that for a monetary advantage. And just, you know, read 
far into the future, long past your your lifespan, just to see what's going to happen, and just hope it doesn't like, oh, in 2060 a comet hits and blows up the Earth. Well, crap, you know. If you could choose any age to stay forever, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be 10. I mean, 10, I mean, yeah, you're, you're young, but you're not fully developed, you, you know, so no sex, no drinking, you have to go to bed at a certain time, yeah, no, no, you're, no, no, I would be 21 forever, I mean, what, what is the downside of being 21 forever, I mean, come on, that's, that's not even a question, oh no, oh my god, serve seven years in a rough prison, kill and eat your pet dog, oh my god, oh my god, I, uh, I am not going to kill my dog. I'm sorry. I will serve some hard time. You know, we'll, 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 you know, go Oz up in that place if we have to. Or, you know, or just, I'm not going to kill and eat my dog. Be a mermaid or be a princess. <laughs> if I were a five-year-old girl. Hmm. Well, we're just going to take that out. I have to be either turn into a princess or a mermaid. Uh... I mean, what you? I mean, a mermaid, of course. I mean, that'd be kind of that'd be interesting. I mean, a princess, a princess, but a mermaid. Come on. Oh boy, this is tough. You know, discover something great and spread it, like a unlimited energy source or a cure to all diseases or something, or discover something evil and prevent it. You know, it's, it's, you know, how evil, like, are we talking about, and I don't mean to trivialize here, but like a, a small terrorist attack, you know, you have to look at it. Is discovering something evil and preventing it stopping a million people from dying versus curing all diseases in the world? I mean, God... I mean, if it's something like curing all diseases or an unlimited energy source or unlimited way for fresh water, you know, in the long run, that's that's going to save more people than what I would stop. Unless I was stopping the end of Earth, you know, like a, a nuclear holocaust. But, you know, I'm going to assume that's not what it was. Hmm... Would you rather have huge arms and weak legs or huge legs and weak arms? Now, what do you mean by huge? Does that mean, like, strong arms or just, you know, big, big arms, you know, comically big? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna, I, I'd have to go with huge legs because, you know, at least I, I just the weak legs, I don't... I don't know. That was, a, that was a strange question. Hmm. Get a free appetizer with every meal or get a free dessert with every meal? Well, as a fat guy, hmm. Hmm. You know, more times than not, by the time I've eaten, even if I don't get a appetizer, I just don't want a dessert more times than not, so I'd, I'd have to go for free appetizer. I mean, at least with the appetizer, you know, if I'm out eating, I'm going to, you know, share with the table, so, I mean, I think that that's more beneficial. Well, I mean, duh. I mean, if I've I got a girlfriend, she has a lesbian affair, I mean... I mean, cool, I guess. I I think I might be able to handle that more. I mean, it, it, being cheated on would suck either way. It, it's it's it, it's not something, you know, some people just think it's not a big deal. But uh, depending on how, I mean, it, it's, it's a pretty big betrayal. Especially if you've been with them for a long time or, you know, you're, you're married. I mean, that's, that's a huge betrayal. I mean, but of the lesser of two evils there, I guess. Rather live in Boston or live or live in uh live in Boston or live in New York City. Uh you know, I wanna go to New York City. There's so much to do there and see. 
But is it a place you want to live in? Boston's a big city, a lot to see there, but it's not New York City. It's, you know, you can still actually kind of function in Boston, but I hate most Boston sports teams. And when I say hate, I mean, I, I, I loathe Tom Brady. I respect him. I respect Bill Belichick and the Patriots, but I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Uh, don't really care for most New York teams, except for the New York Giants. Uh, I'm not a fan of seafood. I, I guess I'd go with New York City, begrudgingly. I mean, I'd probably be miserable living... Like, it, that's another thing I should have thought about. Is it, like, am I the dead center of the city, or can I be kind of in the outskirts? You know? I don't know. Be a genius in the world of unintelligent people, or be an unintelligent... Be unintelligent in the world of geniuses. Uh... Well, I mean, what do you mean by unintelligent? Are they just, like caveman or are they just like the class dunce I mean what's I mean if you're the genius in a, an intelligent world you should be able to control everything but I mean you would have no assistance you'd have no one to help you or implement anything depending on how unintelligent they are I'd, I'd have to be unintelligent you know this is do I want to be a genius amongst cavemen, or do I want to be Fry in Futurama? And I'm going to go with Fry in Futurama. I mean, everyone disagrees with me, but yeah, I'm a genius, but guess what? If, I, if everyone else is unintelligent, depending on how unintelligent, I could design all the stuff I want. There's no one to mine the resources. There's no one to build anything. You know, I'm screwed. You know, maybe I could teach them to be smart, but, uh, you know, it's that it's vague. So, I'd go with a world of geniuses and be pitied by y'all. Would you rather explode or implode? Uh, God, that's, that's a horrible either way. I would think if you explode, you would die quicker? An implosion would be like, almost kind of like being crushed? So you might live longer and feel the pain more, so I'd go with exploding. It is horrible either way. Horrible leaves a mess. Oh, God. You know, I gave Harry Potter a hard time, but I watched the movies, and they were acceptable to me. Twilight, no. Nope, nope, nope. Haven't read the books, haven't watched the movie, going with Harry Potter. And I can relate with the magic and stuff of Harry Potter more than I can the romantic vampire and werewolf stories. I mean, that's just not a feel. I mean, if it was just like vampires versus werewolves, like Underworld, yeah, I'd be all over it. But uh, that's not what that is. Be a cowboy or would you rather be an Indian? Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, is this during the cowboy and Indian times? I mean, I, I'd assume... So you'd be an Indian in, what, the 1800s, probably mid to late 1800s, uh, where they were being forced upon from their land, what was what, what land they still had, on the reservations, or I could be a cowboy. Now, a cowboy wasn't necessarily the ones doing it, you know, they were cattle farmers, and, hmm. I mean, you're going to live a rough life regardless but I'm going to offend somebody in some way here. Um, hmm. Hmm. They had rough lives regardless. Oh, boy. Uh, I guess I'd go with You know, why not? Just kind of see it, see see what happened through their their perspective. Oh God! So you're either basically drowned to death or electrocuted to death. Um, is it a clean electrocution, like the electric chair, or 
I have a phobia of like when I go over big bridges over large water masses I have a phobia of the bridge collapsing like I just sometimes I just think oh the bridge is going to collapse going to drown electrocuted would be bad too I guess electrocuted I mean we killed people with that executed them so uh would you rather have your name known forever for doing something terrible Never be recognized for accomplishments for, for never... Well, I mean, that this is just... Are you in it for the glory, no matter what you do? Or do you just care what you do? I'm not... I mean, I don't want to be known as Hitler 2.0. Or as, you know, friggin... What is it? Bernie Madoff here. For doing... You know, I'd rather cure cancer. Or, or save someone and never be recognized for it. I mean, that's that's easy. That's easy. Come on. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Would you rather end world hunger or find a cure for cancer? Uh, I've had a relative die from cancer, but I think we're closer to finding cures for cancer already than we are ending world hunger, so I'd go with ending world hunger. And uh, that should save more people. I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, cure cancer, but I think scientists are already well on their way, hopefully on that on their own. World hunger is an issue that's still far, far away, and affects far more people. Eat a container of... You know, I'd like to taste a Pepto-Bismol, I'm sorry. I don't know what it would do to me, but, you know, the vitamins would probably be better for me, that's, that's for sure. Have every commercial be an annoying Geico ad for the rest of your life. Have every commercial? Can you hear me now for the rest of your life? Uh, I don't find the Geico uh, little commercials that uh, that annoying, so I'll take that. Let's see. Would you rather fight a shark with bear arms, but a fight a bear with shark arms? Well, what do you mean, like fins for arms? What am I gonna do? Slap them, or if I have shark arms, I can just attack him? I mean, yeah, I, okay, if I had sharks for arms, uh, first off, they'd die. I'd have to keep them submerged in water, but assuming that's not the case. Uh, yeah, I could fight the bear off pretty easily, but, you know, what about the rest of the time? I mean, God forbid you need to, uh, how, to, how, to how to put this, you need to relieve oneself yeah, in... <laughs> You know, have uh, have some alone time. That's not happening. That's not happening at all. How are you going to eat? How are you going to do anything? You know, a shark. People fight sharks off. Even great whites. Their noses are real sensitive. Punch them in the nose, gouge their eyes out. So, I'd rather, rather keep my arms and... Of course, I might lose my, one of my arms fighting the shark, but, you know. Or bear, with bear arms. Oh, I did not read that. Still, the bear arms, at least, I think I could function a little better than uh, with sharks for arms. Like, I think with that, I'm getting bear arms. Like, I, I don't know. That, that, that confused me. Uh, I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to film another one of these right after this. Uh trying to get some videos stockpiled for when I won't be able to upload for about two weeks. So I'll have, uh, have plenty of videos ready to go to release every day. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. Uh, comment down below. Uh, what choices would you make? Uh, what, uh, you know, what, uh, what choices would you have done differently? Um, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video later.